Hello everyone, my name is PJ and this is my friend Tyler and welcome back to the, the Insane, Insane Trilogy. Trilogy. Part 10. I actually did that right that time. How about that? I was right on cue with you. I'm proud of myself. But you are getting the last key. Whoa! <laughs> That's a highlight moment right there. That was great. <laughs> Oh, I love that. I knew the TNT crate destroyed one of the boxes. Just, I forget which one. I, sh I should have known it would be the closest one. Still, I love that moment. There we go. And you know about this next one where, uh... Yep. Yep, yep just go for it. Destroy this, and this, and go for it. Yep, you're good. Oh, no, oh, okay. no, no, you can't do that. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I can still do it. Okay. Oh, you are one. <laughs> there, oh, oh, slippery edges. <laughs> oh. Why does everything in this game have to have a rounded edge? It makes no sense. Uh. Okay, well, do you want to know the way I did it? No. Okay. I'll figure it out. All right. I, I think there's multiple ways to do all these things. But I, th I don't know if this was the stage that I learned about the weird TNT bug, but this might be the one where it exists. I don't really know. There you go. You got it. <laughs> it's really close, but yeah. <sighs> Did I already get the key? You must have. I mean, you've got all the crates, right? <laughs> Well, does, I, does, I, think, does, I think it gives you the key just for reaching the end, not for getting all the crates. Oh, okay. Okay. It's 112 boxes. In this yeah, that's kind of weird. What? In the original, the crates in the bonus stages did not count toward your gem total. Correct. But it's still possible to get all the boxes in the stages, presumably unchanged. Well, no, 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 because they actually added the box totals from the bonus stages to the count. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? I you, mean, you, you, without, you, you can go the other way. I know, I know, but I'm saying, without changing the layout of the bonus stages, it's still possible to get all the crates in them. They didn't... They... they oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have to change it to make it possible. They don't what? Come, it doesn't come back? Oh. Okay, this, this, the hidden path doesn't come back. We always should do the stage deathless, so I guess we never learned that. Yeah, there's nothing back there, so I don't know where you're going. I just wanted to check. They just being back, thorough. Right? Oh yes. yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> but the invisible ones don't. No, no, no. Careful about spinning, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. I always hate how they put the one Tana right, right there, like <laughs> it's so close to the. You think you miss one, like just. I mean, no, you're not. You're actually right on, right on track. Okay, I got the key, and I got the hidden block on the gem path. Mm -hmm. It'd be funny if they put a TNT crate at the top of that stack. <laughs> No, I think this is actually there's there's your TNT crate. So easy though. I wish that there was just a real stage that used this backdrop, you know, with the tree and everything, because it looks really cool. But no actual stage uses it. Mm -hmm. Wait, where even is this? Like, <laughs> where does she keep getting loose to these trees for? I mean. Tana does escape an awful lot, doesn't she? Yeah. And then she just waits for you up here, but then Cortex comes and snatches her away again for some reason. Like, does she keep using that bird over and over that we see in the ending? I don't know. Like... <laughs> okay, I got the gem, so now I just gotta get out of here. Yep. Gem and the key. There, Boom. you're out. And we never have to go back to that horrible stage again. Yep, Draws of Darkness is over. 
Okay, it's not horrible anymore since we, don't, we, can, we, since we can die. Yeah. It's not even horrible anymore. But... Uh, imagine the original version of the game, though, where you had to do it deathless, and also get all the crates in the Tana and Cortex bonus rounds. Yeah, that'd be the hardest thing ever. <laughs> that'd be so hard to do. Because if you die once, you're done. You lose it. You're gone. You can't ever get them back until you restart the entire stage from scratch again. You know what? You know what I don't think I ever found on romhacking.net? What? Anything of a Crash Bandicoot. Most people don't rom hack uh, 3D games, though. I guess it's just a lot harder. Castle Machinery. Um... This doesn't have a colored gem, but it does have a gem path in it. But isn't it a green gem path? I think so. Yeah, we can just do it right away. But doesn't it just have like nothing but lives on it? It's yeah, it's one. Of, it's one of the, it leads to an alternate exit. Is what it leads to. An alternate exit with nothing but lives. Yeah. Yeah. You can't take that gem path in the time trial, can you? I think you can. It's just it's just the time trial is just very very short in that case. Yeah, I'm just going to save that green gem for later, because I don't have to take it if it no. only leaves the light. True. Leads to you, have to do the, you have to do the stage, so... But what are those actually boxes up there? I'm just not remembering. They're right. just a bunch of lives. That's all they are. I mean, I did just recently do this myself, so... This is the way I'm supposed to go, right? Oh, wait, no. Okay. They put this here for the time trial clock. Exactly, You right. can't use the green gem pad. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Okay, clever, clever, clever. <laughs> I hate those things. Yeah, they're so slow and you can't destroy them. I love the green glow of the toxic waste in these places. The Mountain Dew? Yeah, I love it. It's just so glowy. So this place is actually one of the few stages I don't consider to be very well designed, though. Just because if you screw up even transferring over, like, one platform, you're done. Because the because the actual platforms don't return to, like, a neutral cycle again. So Did they not fix it in this version? They didn't fix it in this version. No. no. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, it's stupid. It's like the one thing they didn't fix was they did not, fi they did not send back to neutral positions. Oh, checkpoint. What was that one uh, Bugs Bunny game that was completely feminist? Like, not feminist, but completely against, like, women just because they gave Lola, like, a frying pan or something? The carrot crazy. Yeah, that one. Like, why did they do that? <laughs> like, it's... And it wasn't a frying pan. It was um, a rolling pin. A, even worse. <laughs> no, it was Peach that they gave a frying pan to in Super Mario RPG. But, you know, well, here's the thing. I mean, they may have given her a frying pan, but... It was the strongest weapon in the game for, so, I mean. That doesn't make it better. I know, but, <laughs> what, what I was going to say, though, is that um, Peach herself, like, is never really, really, it was a vent. <laughs> it was? Oh. Uh, oh, you're, what are you I, doing? I thought the Mountain Dew was what hurt me. Oh, well. At least I can die here. Uh... Princess Peach's character, though, is being a girl, though. Like, that's always just been her character. Like, she doesn't have anything else. So, like, what else were they gonna do besides make her just, like, a... I mean, she loves cooking and baking pies and cakes and, you know. I mean, the one time she was a heroine, her... Her, her power was emotion. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not gonna get into that, because I've heard both men and women defend that game. I'm not saying that it's a bad game. I was just simply saying that it's awfully strange that you would give her her own game and her weapon is her emotions. Like, that's odd, to say the least. But I don't think Peach is really that bad of a character, though. I mean, I think she served her purpose just fine, and... And maybe she maybe she is a damsel in distress, but what else what else has she ever been? Nothing. Uh, wasn't she a heroine? You just said that. Well, she it was in a game where she had to save uh, Mario and Luigi once, but 
I mean, that was one time out of, like, the what, hundreds of times that Mario and Luigi have done it. Oh, that's up there. Is that a fruit? Still want to call them apples. No idea why. Do they look like apples? Do they look like very delicious apples? There's a lot of falling on your ass in this stage. There's nothing up there, yeah. I thought that would be. Oh, is this a trap? Now, I haven't said much of anything in this episode. I've just been so distracted. We talked about Princess Peach a little bit and the girls in video games, but... Actually, did you hear about the, the nonsense going on with uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 right now? No. Uh, remember how to do this? Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. You did it wrong. You can't get back up now, can you? Oh, I guess you can. Okay. I knew I could. It's not the way I did it, but all right. Anyway, um, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, the artist they got to do all the artwork for it is a hentai artist. So all the characters are, like, kind of, like, strangely, like, sexual. And people were, like, just making a big deal about it because, like... like so why just because he's a hentai artist she. doesn't mean... Oh, she. Okay. Yeah, she. Uh, but... And they're, they're, just, they're just pointing it out because there's some, some designs that are, like, very, very, like, obviously overdone, like, sexually. And, uh, personally, I don't really mind it too much because, I mean, uh... It's not really supposed to be a direct sequel to um, the first game, like because the first game was nothing like that. Uh, it's meant to be kind of like a pseudo spin-off, sort of like. See, here's my problem with that, though. Yeah. You got a hentai artist to design your characters, and she made them look sexy. Some of them, not all of them. Okay. What is the difference between that and getting a non-hentai artist who makes them look the same way? I <laughs> know, right? Right. Everyone would be okay with it. <laughs> Like, I don't know if they would be, because the whole point is supposed to be the, like, the whole, you know, over-sexualization of women and stuff and all that. But it's which... a woman doing it! I know! I know! But then but then it's internalized misogyny. You know? Like, that's then that's the second Tumblr excuse that people use. Oh, God. Is internalized misogyny. But no, that's not really true. I know it's not true, because honestly, she designed the characters the way she wanted to. And those designs were reviewed and accepted by a board of people that thought they were acceptable. So, honestly, I don't see what the real complaint here is. Uh, <sighs> it's. Um, did you hear about the author of Aruni Kenshin? No. He just got imprisoned because they found actual child pornography in his house. Okay, understandable. Hundreds of DVDs worth. Understood, completely. Got it. Like, like not Lollicon. That's, uh, yeah, that's yeah. not child yeah. porn. We're talking real children here. Yes, which is yeah. I under that's that's fine. That that makes sense. I mean, that's we have that in place. We have that protection in place. And, yeah, but yeah. I was reading the comments of that article, and a lot of people were disappointed because. It, to them, it feels like they're not allowed to be fans of Ravuni Kenshin anymore. But that has nothing to do with it. Like, I mean, mm. the, the, the your work has to be separate from what who you are. I mean, it, it's just has to, that's how it is. Like, you can't... Oh. All right? Dr. Brio. Dr. Nitrous Brio. If you squish a blob, it'll squirt across the room. What? That's... I, I don't remember how this fight goes. Well, they made it much more clear now as to what his, uh, like, what's hurting him now. Because before it was unclear, you know, what hurt, hurt him. Yeah. You'll see now. Like, when you kill that thing, you have to jump on it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, this song. I know this song. This is Nitrous Brio's boss theme? Oh. <laughs> Okay, see? Yeah. That, oh, okay. So now it's more clear what's hurting him, which is good. Because before it was like, why are you getting hurt? <laughs> I, know, I, I know. I always thought it was just a representation of progress. Yeah, but once again, the fight is pretty uneventful. I still want to know why I can't just walk up to you and spin the crap out of your face. <laughs> Aw. Aw, okay. 
But here, here's my question about the Xenoblade Chronicles whole debate thing, which isn't really a debate, it's just someone pointing something out. Uh, like, why would they choose to have a hentai artist do the art anyway? Like, I wonder why they chose that. You know, just because somebody is a hentai artist doesn't mean that's the only thing they draw. True, true, but if, if that's what you're most known for, I mean, it's kind of hard to separate that from your work, right? Especially if that's what you mostly do. So I'm just wondering, like, why? Like, why would that be something... Maybe, maybe they just like the artwork in general. Maybe they thought it, like, it worked for the actual uh, setting of the game. Honestly, I'm a huge fan of the new look of Xenoblade Chronicles. I think it looks a lot better than the first game. Because the first game had a lot of that, like, this is kind of just a standard RPG kind of look to it. But this has a little more personality. Characters are more cartoonishly proportioned, and they, like, I don't know, they're just better, in my opinion, than the first game. Xenoblade Chronicles remains one of those games, though, that kind of makes me a bit upset, because... I know how good it is, I know what people say it's good and everything, but I've played the game. Aww, uh, oh, really? <laughs> so you have two health bars? Yes. Okay. But it, I, I've played it before, and I just cannot get into it. I, I, I really, really hate the combat in Xenoblade Chronicles. It's. I don't know anything about it at all, so yeah. I can't even vouch for it. Yeah, like, I just, I've, I've tried it and just don't like it. I just don't like it at all. It's kind of the same way I don't like the combat in Final Fantasy XV, either. Like, I love the game, but I really hate the combat. Really? Oh. Well, eventually you'll start getting masks, so... Why don't they give you masks by default in boss fights, though? Like, that's so strange. Because they used to do that by default. I'm starting to wonder if they did. Because they've already proven I have kind of skewed memories of the original. A few, here and there. What is he even saying? This is these. Like, it almost sounds like he's trying to say English words. <laughs> oh, I didn't even pay attention. Does he actually throw his like his uh, right hand now when he throws his purple potions? Because before he didn't used to do that. He just threw his his left hand and it would change color. Uh, I think he does use his right hand for that. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, in the first, in the original game, you didn't do that. That's pretty cool. All right, now there should be one more little blobby blob. Oh no, he's gonna drink. Okay. No, I guess there isn't two bar, two life bars. I guess it's just one. Weird. Yeah. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Remember how this works, right? Just jump up there and jump on his head, or spin, or whatever. Just jump on his head. Yeah, you just jump on his head, yeah. It really feels like you're going to get hurt by his fists. Yeah, I know. Is he wearing tidy whiteies? Oh. He's wearing his normal clothes that got oh. destroyed when he transformed. Okay, okay. <laughs> A little bit of cartoonish flavor there. Okay, we're really close to the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really um, close. Yeah. God damn. We've made so much progress in one day. We started this game today at 21%. What percentage are we at now? I think the actual end, like the actual last stage gives you like 20% or something. So we should be around 80. That doesn't make any. No, no, no. You don't get percentages for completing stages. You get percentages for collecting items. Okay. Yeah, but let me take a look. 78%. Percent. We gained. 57% of this game so far in one day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, the lab. The uh, lab. Can I get the gem here right away? Oh, wait, that's a colored gem. A yellow gem. Okay. Then I have to do this deathless. Yep. Which, uh, well, this is like the third hardest stage in the game. But it's still. Is my hair sticking out through my crown? Ugh. Anyway, just noticed uh. that now. This, yeah. this stage isn't so bad. <laughs> this stage isn't so bad. I remember that they did that. <laughs> I just didn't know that this, that the, that's what they looked like in this version of the game. Because before they were brown. Okay. Wow. That okay. looks painful. That looks really painful.
I mean, as long as you be a little bit patient, it should be fine. For the most part. Maybe. Let's just hope you can actually get to the end. Ooh. Yeah, and these things that come back like... Oh. I tried to spin it. <laughs> I don't know if that kills them or not. I don't know. I like how this stayed... Oh, wait, actually, wait, there's a gem in here. What? Oh, wait. Oh, right, I call it a gem. Yeah. Like I, have, I have to quit every time I die. Maybe you do. I still don't know for sure if you can just continue trying if you haven't hit the first checkpoint. Well, what happens in the colored gem stages that prevent you from getting the colored gem? So the boxes before your checkpoints come back? Like before? Well, no, it's the fact that uh, if you get to the end, it says, good job, but you died. and Because you actually get the gem, and then it says, good job, but you don't get the gem because you, didn't, because you died. No. Oh. Yeah. Does that say it after you go into the gate, or does it say it at the floating hologram box? It's, it, says, it's, it says that when you actually finish the stage. Or what happens in the floating hologram box? If you get all the boxes, does it just say, like, 20 out of 20, but then doesn't drop Yeah, it doesn't gem? drop anything, yeah. Correct. A lot of people would probably think the game was glitched at that point. Because <laughs> I, remember, I remember getting all the boxes before on the death thing. Yeah, it just doesn't open. The box just doesn't open. It's weird how you can spin those ones, but you can't do that in the boss fight. Like, I don't get that at all. Okay, I remember this part. Yeah. There's TNT hidden back here. Already? Yeah, already. It's really, it's really soon in the stage. Wow. Yeah. And that's the only bonus stage in this level, so... It's always the treetops, too. It's always the treetops. No, no matter where the stage... Now, uh, hopefully that took you high enough. Oh, I, I got something. Yeah. Because that was because there was two bounce crates on top of each other, so I don't know if you... Well, we'll see at the end if, well, how many crates you have. If that was good enough or not. Yeah, see? You missed something. Wow. Yeah, so you had to jump on top of the... Bounce crate. Huh. If you go into the gate without getting all the crates, can you still try the stage again? I don't know. Huh. I never tried it. <laughs> okay. That seems kind of difficult, because you're going to have to, like... I know what to do. There you go. Wow. Yeah, so there's actually, there's your box you needed. God damn. Okay. Yeah, actually a little bit of a difficult thing in a ton of bonus stage, huh? Was it in the original? Must have been. There we there go. We go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neo Cortex, you dog, you. these guys, but I remember yeah. how to actually fight them now. I remember we spent so long trying to jump around them. And that's still what I do with them, but how do you actually fight them? Like not that. like that, not like that, no. <laughs> All you had to do was spin them when they're not electrocuted. Which, you know, sounds like common sense when you say it out loud. <laughs> well, I just thought it was more it was more of a hassle to do that than anything else. But maybe not. Maybe it's not a hassle. Maybe it's actually easier than I think. Okay, now I gotta do all that over again. Oh, and, yeah. And I remember not to miss the crate in Tana's bonus stage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really mind the Tana bonus stage very much, because you just keep crying that, so why does it matter? Like, that doesn't matter at all. Did you say, keep crying that? Keep trying that. You just keep crying that. It doesn't matter if you keep trying the Tana bonus stages, so. Or if you ever can't get hurt. I remember what other Disney movies they announced are going to be coming out in the, in the future. Because, I mean, there was the Chippendale Ranger. Ranger, Ranger oh, there's the, um, the Chronicles of Prydain. Ah, cool. Which is the same book series that the Black Cauldron was based off of. Mm -hmm. So, it's something. Yeah, it's something. Yes, but, uh... You know who I'd like to see make a Black Cauldron film? Who? 
Peter Jackson. <laughs> Peter Jackson makes it. I mean, maybe. I mean, I wouldn't think that'd be a bad thing. Uh. It's so weird how close you have to be with that. It always feels like you're going to hit the top blocks every time. Butterflies. <laughs> At least we don't have to do those parts in the time trials. I wonder how many individual leaves are actually rendered. Like, do they, do they just render one leaf and just keep repeating it? Do they do the tree in once? I wonder how they do, how they, how they do that. Well, I guess that isn't tough at all, actually. Huh. They sure don't want to give me masks, do they? Not really, no. I think there probably are masks hidden somewhere. Oh, oh really? No. Just got if only I it. had a mask. <laughs> yeah, because you can't even really build up, like, for mask uses here because you keep quitting. So, like, you can't really build up masks, you know? <sighs> well, I could always just go back to a previous stage, an easy one, and then just get a couple masks and come back. They don't disappear unless you touch the time trial clock, which isn't even there right now. Yeah. I mean, you can do it without the masks, though. I mean, you already made it, like, almost through the stage. Yeah. So. At least it tells you right there exactly why you're not getting the colored gem. Yeah. Every loading screen in any game should have tips in it. It's just, it's just a perfect thing to put in loading screens. Or lore. Or lore. Like the older scores does. Or well, at least, like, Skyrim does, because the other ones didn't do that. Too soon. Yes, you always you are really close with that. <sighs> I still feel I'm still in time trial mode. <laughs> My reflexes. That's not a terrible thing. We got, like, one more shot at it, probably. How about one more try without fucking up in the very beginning? <laughs> How are you enjoying the game so far, children? <laughs> Isn't it to die for? <laughs> oh, hey, I'm back again. <laughs> you must really love this stage. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, I love his voice, though. I really do. Oh. What? What? <laughs> How did I bounce off of it? You bounced off when you attacked it? Yeah. Oh. Maybe you can't bounce them when they're on the ground, or maybe you can't bounce them when they're in the air? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember which ones I've been doing. <laughs> well, I mean, I said I always just jumped on them just to avoid any hassle. But it's always, that can be hard, too, because they jump so sporadically, so it can be difficult sometimes. We'll try one more time. If I die one more time, that's it. Okay. Then we'll have to finish the game. But we only have like two more, three more, four more stages, I think. Well, we still had to go back and get the rest of the gems. But we're, no, we're still not even missing that many gems. Like, we only have to go back to get like two of them. No, we had to get a lot more than that. You saw my list of stages of gem paths. There's a lot. Okay. I have to attack them when they're in the air. Yeah, that's better. It's time a little bit better. It'd be so cool if there was a way to actually like make it so that time uh, TNT crates start at one just immediately, so you can like speed up the process. Like a special way to jump on them or interact with them or something. Oh. Damn it! Yeah. That's the first time you failed that, so that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, at, le at least you can just keep trying these. That's awesome. I love that. I love how you if you die in here, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually take a life away. 
Oh, not really doing it too well now. It's because the pressure's on. We're only at 30 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry about the pressure. You can go over a little bit. It won't hurt anybody. There. No, the model has to just be spinning. It can't be a separate model. Because when you look at the shadow, the shadow is reacting actively to the spin of your body. That wouldn't do that if it was a separate model. It would have its own shadow. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean? Get the separate it? model and just have the same shadow? But the thing is, the, the spinning model they originally used didn't actually spin, though. That's the thing. It was like, so, it, so like, if, so that, unless the actual separate model they switched to is actually spinning, then maybe. I don't know. I don't know how they did it. Damn it! Okay. No, that's it. Nah. I guess that's it for this week. Uh, we made a lot of progress, though. 78%. 78%. So we made 57% of progress in one day. All thanks to the controls being fixed. Yep. Nah. <laughs> We'd probably still be on Koala Kong if these controls weren't fixed. Yeah. Maybe earlier. Mm hmm. But not only are they fixed, but you get to view the beautiful set. Uh, well, actually, 1080p? 1080p video! Oh, hey. Since we're here, I can just walk back to the Insanity Beach. <laughs> I could have just come here, grabbed a couple of masks, and tried again. Did they do that on purpose? There's no. There's no way, no. Well, no, but no, it is really cool having a way back to the first island, though. That's actually really cool. I just realized it's actually pretty well, good. Well, it's bonus. only if you buy the DLC, but it is a, ne it is a cool extra benefit to downloading it. Yeah. Uh -huh. How much did it cost? $3? $2.99, yeah. Yeah. So not only were you getting a bonus stage, a really hard bonus stage, but also the ability to teleport back to the first island. From the end. What a wonderful bonus. Man, Game as a Services initiative, man. Really paying off. So, thank you all so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because we really appreciate it. If you want to support us on Patreon, there will be an end card at the end of the video, and a link in the description below, alongside links to our social media and Tyler's Twitch account. Please come and see me. So, we'll see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs> and now we're a Moogle. Well, we're dressed as a Moogle. Oh my god, I feel my inner furry taking over. I must be with my kind. Wow, you are really excited. Uh, so we doing this thing or what? Worst furry convention ever.